fishing is just a portal into the natural world, into the river. And you're hunting for a big, powerful traveler from the ocean. I was a strange little nature kid that was interested in reptiles, and amphibians, and critters. It was an easy step to learn about fish. My grandfather fished, and that's what we talked about at the dinner table. Big rainbows and artful anglers, and I became fascinated. When I came back to Oregon and saw what had happened to our fish, it really pissed me off. Some of our best rivers were getting destroyed and hit close to home. And so I got very involved to protect wild salmon. And that's when the Soviet Union opened back up. Almost no Westerners have been over to the Russian Far East yet or to Kamchatka. And so I went over to look around. When I flew over those Russian rivers in a helicopter, it changed everything. It's like going back to the beginning of time. The rivers were in perfect condition. And it was seeing them. It's like, that's what a salmon river is supposed to look like with habitat and baby salmon everywhere and adult dead salmon everywhere and bears and eagles and all the pieces. Now I understood more what, what we've lost. That was a realization that if we don't do something, history will repeat itself. The salmon travel far up into the rivers, bringing nutrient, or almost like the bloodstream that flows each year, distributing those marine nutrients to every tributary, every stream. It's like this amazing interaction between the marine environment and the land. That's why we work so hard on the species, because if you save salmon, you're saving the whole system. So it's not just about these fish. It's about our health as a species, our sanity, and it's about something so mysterious and beautiful that it reminds us what it's like to be human and be a little bit of an animal ourselves. Mm -hmm.